Face from Brown Driver on Briggs means face, faces, presence, or person. Okay, so you see it can mean face, but it also means presence or person to cover the face. Now, read verse 27. Verse 27. Because he covereth his face with his fatness. Okay, his person or himself. He's covered with his fatness. Give me a definition for fatness. Fatness from Strong's is 2459. It means fat, best, finest, richest, or choice part. All right, read on. And maketh collops of fat on his flanks. What's the definition for collops of fat? In Strong's, it means super abundance. In Brown Tracker and Briggs, it means excessive fat. Okay, and the definition for the word flanks. Flanks, it's word 3689. It means confidence, folly, or hope. Okay, so we can see here in Job chapter 15, verse 27, this wicked person or the wicked man, he covers his face or his presence. He covers himself with his fatness, with his abundance. And, and with his, his, uh, his riches, his confidence, that's what's being said in verse 27. So let's go back to Job 9.24. And we'll see here in Job 9.24. Go ahead and read that. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Okay, so the Most High covers the faces or the, the presence of that person. He covers them. They're hidden. They're not exposed. And in Job chapter 15, verse 27, the faces of the wicked, are they cover their own wickedness by their, their fatness, by their riches and their confidence. Okay? Now, the judges thereof, that's another thing. Many of you think those are Israelites or those are apostles. You bring this scripture out, when you're talking about iconoclasm, how they covered up the, the icons of the, the apostles. But that's not even what's being said here. Let's find out who the judges are. This, uh, give me uh, Psalm chapter 2. Psalm chapter 2, uh, I want you to read verses 1 through 4. Uh, Psalm chapter 2, verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves... And the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed, saying... Okay, it's talking about the kings of the earth and the heathen. That's what's being spoken of here. That's the topic of this chapter right here in Psalms uh, chapter 2. Read on. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. Yahweh shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion, I will declare the decree. Yahweh hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Okay, let's get to the point, uh, going down to verse 9. Verse 9. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Okay, who were the judges of the earth? This chapter right here is talking about the heathen kings. Alright? So back to Job 9, 24. Read it again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is it? If it's not the Most High... Who, who can give the earth, only the Most High can give the earth into the hand of anyone. And He also covers it. He covers the faces of the judges. That's these kings of the earth. It's not talking about Israelites. That's right. All right? And that's going to lead us into onto the next topic. This, this Job 9.24 has been broken down for you. You should understand what's being said here. But... Let's get on to the next chapter. Let's, let's find out Job's nationality. Let's get some more insight on that. Now, many of you are going to be surprised at this. This is going to make you mad. But you just got to deal with it. Give me Job uh, chapter 1, verse 1. This is Job chapter 1, verse 1. 
There was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared the Most High and eschewed evil. So Job was from the land of Uz. Okay. Do you know where the land of Uz is? Do you know anything about that? Sakuanes, so far king of the Menaeans. 
Okay? And that's the end of that. Now, that's not in your King James translation. Alright? That's from the Septuagint. 